Hello, welcome to Relax and Paint. This morning, I'm wanting to put my heart into it. I want to do a grapevine heart wreath. And I'm going to show you tons of flowers and how to finish this up at the end to make it amazing. So don't go away. Stay with us. Subscribe so you know when I'm coming on and uh, share with your friends, please. And the more you grow by practice strokes on Fridays, the more you're going to want to do one stroke advantage, which is four amazing um, lessons a month where you get the full lesson and we paint together. All right, so let's get started with the colors that we're going to use today. All right, so one of the things I wanted to share with you is because I paint so much, I wanted to make sure that we have, um, I use art paper that can be easily framed, and I can also be put in my portfolio, which is easier to uh, share my paintings and all with. I'm putting, pulling out an angle brush, some flat brushes of different sizes. I've got um, a six, an eight, a 10 or a 12, and a two. And actually, I don't have the six. I have a two, an eight, a 10, a 16, and a filbert, not a filbert, an angle brush, and a two scrub liner, and my quarter inch scruffy. All right. So the colors we're using, just to share with you, we're using multi surface colors. Now, multi surface colors are wonderful because they have their different kinds of labels, but they're all multi-surface. They used to all have the label on the top like this, and now they all don't have that because of, you know, the way things are in printing and stuff with um, ever since the pandemic. All right, so I just want to share besides the flower colors, I've got sap green, and we're using some citrus green, and so I can get bright, all right? And so I use floating medium. I've got some there, but I'm going to put some over here too. Floating medium is the fluff that's inside paint with no pigment. And what that does is it makes it possible for you to not use water and achieve great, beautiful painting with one stroke technique. All right. So we don't get muddiness. All right. So, so you see, I padded it to spread it out. So we have lots of areas to side load paint and then this is the colors that we're going to use the brown and white this is burn number and wicker white are for the wreath that we're going to do and then all of these are juneberry uh, magenta blue peacock violet pansy and then we have daffodil yellow and yellow ochre all right so those are the colors we're going to be using and I'm going to turn my pad. This is an art uh, art pad. You can get this is a heavy duty. Let's see. This is 184 pounds. 15 sheets in here, and it it's just a, a natural looking gray tone. This has a little bit of greens in it. But what I want to share with you is I'm just going to take either either regular pencil or I'm going to take um, these are fabric chalks that I that we sell. And I want you to see that we're going to come around. All right. So I am five tight fingers down to this point right here. And then at the bottom, I want to come up about three fingers and put another circle. And that's kind of in the center. All right. And then I'm going to come over here about three fingers and about three fingers. So we're just going to sketch a country heart. You can do a different kind of heart if you want, but this is a heart I like. Okay. And so that's the, the one thing you have to do to get started. It makes it really easy. Angle brush. We're going to put medium in here. And I'm going to, I decide to put what color I want on the toe. So this is the toe of the brush. This is the heel of the brush. And you double load just like this. All right. Work it in, work it in. Lots of paint. So I've got this um, three-fourths burn number, one-fourth white. 
All right. Now this is what happens. As I'm coming around here, I'm going to start here and I'm going to wave around. Now this is going to need medium every once in a while, and then you work it in. Okay. So I'm going to come around here and I'm going to pick up more. I'm going to cross it right here. And the first thing I do is kind of do one wavy line. Okay. Now, this is what I want to share with you. Lots of people feel like they go around again and again and again and, and one solid movement. But what I want to share with you, let's put this over here, is that we're going to come here and break these up. All right. So we're going to come here, here, and break this up. So... I don't want so much white. I do want more brown, but I want you to see that I'm going to have it really loose. Okay, so I start on one side here and cross over. Now, this is what I get all over the, all the time. This. Okay, where did they start and where did they end? They're just laid all in there. So what I want you to see is it's got to make sense like they came from somewhere. You can go to all these directions if you came somewhere to get to there, all right? And so I like the feathering. I like that it looks loose. See that feathery? I like that. But I just don't like these for coming from nowhere. You got to make it. I, I stop like every two inches and then make it come from the vine. It was growing from this vine. We used to make grapevine wreaths and I would macrame and do my grapevine wreaths and do them around Cypress Knees and here in Florida. And I would fill it with air plants and sell them. But I want you to know that we twisted grapevine wreaths around five bu gallon buckets and they would just grow in all the trees here in Florida wild ones okay so do you see this all right i'm going to bring a little bit more brown burn umber into the center there all right now you can come around here and add a little bit there add a little bit over there until you feel like it's evened out okay now one thing i do at the very end but i want to show you now because i think you might notice it more all right so this is what we do we take the water on with the two script liner and I'm going to make an inky puddle. Now I go into water at least two to three times. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to go like this. And you could be in here. If you're here, it's pasty. All right. Take that off. And I go to my inky. And the inky is really loose. Now you don't want it watery or too inky or too pasty. Okay. So look. Two inky is not a problem. It's, it's too wet. Okay, so I start on here and come out here. Now, you can do this, which is you're pulling like this. Or you can come in here and do some curls. So at first, lots of people are comfortable doing that. So you can come in here and just do a few loose ones. Like that. Or you can come in here and do the curls. And you have to practice this. And I show you all that on practice strokes. So go check it out when you get a chance. And look at making curly cues. And there's all kinds of tricks. All right. So let's look at the first flowers that we want to do. I If you realize that you have to put greenery down first, it will make a big difference. All right. So one of the things I like to do is come in here. And take my, this is like a 10. Now I'm going to pick up different leaves with different size brushes. But right here, we're going to work this in. You can use your double loader, which will really help you too, especially if you're new. I can come in here or if you're trying to do a better job of loading, use your double loader. It makes a big difference. All right. So there's a couple of things I want to do. I want to come in here. And kind of do the same thing over here. So I'm up on the chisel. I'm leading with a lighter color. And 
I'm, I could do a, a couple different things. I can push, lift, push, lift, and I can do these little longer leaves, little small leaves. All right, I'm gonna have to put this paint bottle under here so we miss the glare. All right, so then, um, in some of these places, I am doing, I'm going to come in here and do push and lift, like comma strokes. That's a nice green look. All right. And in some places, I'm going to pick this up and size stroke white, and I can come in here. And do, I can kind of tap it. Okay. Or get like a fern effect. And I can do one here, one over here. I can have it coming down here. All right. And then maybe one up here. All right, just a little bit of that. So I can go around and see that's there. One, two. I'm going to have one here where I'm just doing the commas. All right, one, two, and a third one. We can come right in here. And then we can also come out here. All right, so we're just trying to put all underneath all kinds of greenery. All right, and it'll make a difference in how this is looking as we're painting here. Some of the greenery we will put afterwards, after we paint some flowers. But a couple of things I want you to see is we can just tap in here and make these little stems of tapping. Tap, 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 tap. All right, and then when we put little stock flowers there, it looks really good. Okay, see it's shaped like a Christmas tree and then we kind of make it tap along there and lean over. All right, down here, we want to put a bunch of it in here. And I'm just tap, tap, tap. All right, and then a little bit coming up here. So the whole idea is lots of different kinds of greenery. So then we put flowers in and then we feel like, where do we need to put some leaves on top? All right, so that really helps. I do have some areas where I can make it a leaf. All right, and I pull a stem in. We can put a couple of smaller leaves here. And see, it's a brighter green. All right. A little bit brighter green here. Okay, so now watch this. I wiggle out to the point come back and we'll go back down and pull us down. Okay. And then I'm gonna come right in here. And it's easier to flip the brush and come in here. Okay. Now look, I'm gonna do one, two, three. All right, so, so one, two, three down here. I think I need something in the middle over here. I'm gonna pull a stem out here with a flower. See, I have a variety. Okay, so all of this is real important because the thing that happens under this is that we do the flowers on top and then we can come back in here and put some little details with the script liner and all, all right? So 
I'm going to start with my tan and let's let's do some of the first colors, okay? So underneath kind of, I thought I would put some purples. So I'm going to use a violet pansy. So I put all violet pansy. Oops, let's move this over. All right, so you can see this down here. All right, so I've got all my pansy on the a flat brush, and then I'm going to pick up white. All right, so then what I want to do, because I'm not going to put the stems, I'll come do those later. I'm going to pick up and put some purple by tapping, tapping and going back and forth. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, so we'll just go a little bit closer. Purple and uh, I can turn it around and just let the dark purple be on the outside. Okay, so it's light on the outside then. Then I flip the brush. So then I can come right in here. So violet pansy and white. And I'm just tapping it with that white on top. Okay, so then I can come right in here. Don't get too big. All right, so we have purple, purple, and one, two, and then down here, what if we take and do one, kind of like berries in here. Okay, so what happens here is that we lay this flat and then we just put little dots. I hope you like this today. I was thinking about how we can do something that would be a sweet gift for somebody or it just has a really sweet feel and um, making gifts to fit and lots of different, like my some of my granddaughter's rooms would be nice with this. So I'm going to now on this side, come over here and tab some, some stock flowers out of the lavender too, violet pansy. All right, so I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to come way over here. Now, see, that's very light. That's a little bit heavier. That's a heavier one than that. All right. And then I can put a couple of these violet pansies, like these guys over here. All right. So now I got to come back in here with some white. Okay. A little, little. Oops. What about a lot of white? Okay, so it's a little bigger, a little bit different. All right, and then I'm going to have just some little purples all going up in here. Maybe just a little bit in there. And there again, it needs a little bit of white. So you can continue, and all the flowers here could be that, the purples and white, and it would look really pretty. All right, so I bounced out one, two, three, one, two, three, coming around. And then I thought, let's add some blue because they're kind of like the background. All right, so I'm going to come up a little bit and we're going to use some blue peacock. Well, a little, little bit. There we are. So I'm going to pick up this blue peacock. And I'm going to pick up some white. Okay, so I'm going to come here and get it real light, light pastel first. Well, let's do it over here. All right, so I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to do the outside edges with, let's pick up more white. All right, so... There we go. All right. I'm 
I'm going to pick up a little bit more blue. All right, so, so it's just a really pretty light blue. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of uh, pretty centers in that. But then let's come down here. So what I, some of the colors, I don't put it three times in one spot. I'll put some blue over here, blue there, and then blue here. How's that sound? So I'm gonna flip the brush over because we want different kinds of flowers. So I'm gonna go one, two. Now I held the blue peacock on the outside of this and held the white on the inside. All right, so we are coming right in here. So it's a light blue, a little bit darker blue. And I actually can move one of these over to here. So it's, it's a little bit of the same. And then the rest, I will make that light blue again. All right. So those are a little bit of trailing vines. Okay. Okay. All right. So those two colors alone are very pretty also, right? <laughs> so I am going to take my one script liner and get some of the citrus. It's like a small round brush too. All right, so I'm just going to um, actually pick a little bit of white up with this citrus and just tap in the middle. Sometimes I use the kiss tool. Sometimes I use the handle of the brush. But this one, I wanted to have it a little more rustic where it's not perfect and just a little bit of citrus, citrus. And then we put a little bit of white. Okay. And I can put a little teeny bit of yellow in these. Okay. All right, now I'm going to get, so let's go back to our tin again. Oh, <laughs> that's good. It's still okay. So um, what I want to do is pull in some pinks. So I'm going to use some white and magenta. And then on some of these white and magenta, I did add yellow, but let's just do these two colors first. All right, so I have kind of in here, I'm going to do a flower where I'm going to make bigger half circles. All right, and so that pink is kind of pretty. I can also come in here and do some little dots of pink. Then flip it over and do magenta again. Okay, and then you touch it with white again. So I just flipped, tried one side, flipped, did the other side. Okay, so that's a, like a little bit of a hydrangea, but we're going to do the same thing over here. So we're going to just tap, tap, tap. Just a little wildflower. And then we can put a little bit of white with it. All right, and I'm gonna do a couple more of these pink flowers because we'll put a lot of yellow inside of them. That'd be kind of nice. Um, 
Mm, we're going to have a little pink right there, small, a bigger one here. All right, pink, pink. Let's say and now I'm going to get some yellow, white, and pink. And I'm going to come right up here and just pull and like daisy strokes to make a blossom up there that will put a, a center in it. So I'm going to come here and do some little skinny ones. All right, so daffodil, yellow, white, and then we'll pick up pink. All right. So we are going to flip this brush so that we have more yellow. I'm going to put yellow and yellow ochre. Okay. All right. And so over here, we're going to do mostly yellow. We're in here. Let's do it out here. Okay, we're going to put the center over there. All right. So we have those two and this one. And let's just pick up pink over here with some white. All right. So it's just kind of fun as we're adding all these colors. Now I want to take my scruffy and we're going to put dark pink in here. All right. And then dark pink in here. And in here, we're going to put some yellow. And yellow. Okay. I'm going to just touch a little bit of highlight on here. Okay, so we come in here and put some highlights. Come out with a little bit more yellow on here. Oops. Let's put some white there because I got too big. Okay. So we're thinking that's getting pretty, isn't it? All right. So then I do have a June berry color that I can add in here that we haven't used. And it's kind of a, a whole different pretty color, like some kind of berry you might eat. All right, so I'm going to put some white. And let's come in here. And we're going to do. All right, so we have a little June berry there. And we have one out in here. So I'm going to space these out. Okay, so I also want to show you, if you are making um, a daisy, you could do all like this. And then you can put a layer of shorter ones in front to give you more white. And so you see a back pedal and a front pedal. And then in here, I want you to see we do 12, 3, there's 9, and 6. 
And then all you're going to do is do a couple in between each one. And you've got a great shape, Daisy. Okay. And so I'm going to put some citrus in these. Citrus. Right there. And right there. Okay. So I don't know about you, but I think we got the brown in the back. We got these pretty colors. We can still come back with a little bit of inky white. And we can put some little accents inside these pink flower petals. It's pulling the um, yellow with it, but not a bad thing. Okay, so we put a few in here. There we go. Yeah, just kind of added to it. Now, the last thing I want to do is I'm just going to do, I know we took longer today, but I was just in, having fun. And at any time you saw it, any time y'all could have quit and been happy with it, right? So I want to take a little bit of this one script liner and as you come around you drop it and then you can pull it back but I'm pulling up you can never shove it okay so I'm going to come here so I'm going to pull down and take my brush up with me then I'm going to tie this with C's and then I'm going to come down so look one two and I got my pink fingernail there, so just ignore it. And then I'm gonna sign it. Now you can go and do a ton of details, but what I'm doing is I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna come in here and say, we're done, All right? I hope you like that. Put your heart into it, enjoy it, share it like we share our heart and feel blessed that we can do something with small little strokes that looks so pretty. All right. So thank you so much. I'll see you next week. And go check out all of our practice strokes. All right. Most watched Donna Dewberry videos or practice strokes. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.